A chartered plane carrying a Chinese medical team and aid material is headed to Haiti. It will provide assistance amidst worries over disease outbreaks. China's Ministry of Commerce said that in addition to the 40-member medical and epidemic control team, the plane is also carrying 20 tons of food and medical supplies. Also on the flight are four Chinese peacekeepers to replace four who were killed in the earthquake. China has a 125-member peacekeeping force in Haiti. A 50-member Chinese search and rescue team had been working in the capital Port-au-Prince since the early days after the earthquake hit. It will leave Haiti for China today. The replacement team will patrol quake hit areas, offer first aid on site, help disinfect surrounding areas, and assist local hospitals in resuming operations. A senior official in charge of China's internet security has claimed that the country is the world's biggest victim of cyber attacks. Zhou Yonglin is deputy head of the National Computer Network Emergency Response Team and Coordination Center. He says almost two-thirds of all Trojan horse attacks are launched from outside China, with those from the U.S. at the top of the list. Joe also said there was no evidence to back up claims by U.S. search engine Google that it had been attacked from China. He said his center had received no proof about the alleged attacks apart from Google's own announcement and media reports. He added that it was impossible to say Chinese hackers were involved simply because the attackers' IP addresses are from China. Four senior Communist Party officials have called for a review of the verdict which found former college professor Liu Xiaobo guilty of subversion. Liu was sentenced in December to 11 years in prison. The four signed an open letter addressed to incumbent party and government leaders, which was posted on the internet. While the letter does not specifically call for Liu's release, it says the main evidence against him was that he had called for the establishment of a federal republic. It contends that this is a correct slogan that had been used in the early days of the Chinese Communist Party. The four who signed the letter are Hu Jiwei, a former chief of the People's Daily Newspaper, He Fang of the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, Li Pu, a former deputy chief at the official Xinhua News Agency, and Tai Huang, a former Xinhua senior reporter. The first round of expert-level talks on a major trade pact between the Chinese mainland and Taiwan will be held in Beijing this week. The discussions on the Economic Cooperation Framework Agreement are aimed at increasing commercial ties between the two sides by normalizing trade arrangements. The Taiwan delegation will be led by Kao Kung Lian, Deputy Chairman of the Straits Exchange Foundation. The mainland side will be headed by Zheng Li Zhong, Vice President of the Association for Relations Across the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan has said it wants to have tariffs on petrochemicals, machinery and textile products removed after the signing of the agreement. The initial round of talks had been scheduled to begin last week but was delayed for unspecified reasons. Bank of China says it intends to raise tens of billions of dollars in new capital. In a statement on Friday, the bank said it plans to seek shareholder approval for a mandate to sell new shares amounting to not more than 20% of its existing Hong Kong and Shanghai listed shares. That could raise almost $30 billion based on the shares Friday closing prices. The Beijing-based bank also said it plans to issue as much as $6 billion of bonds convertible into Class A shares which are traded on China's domestic markets. China's banking sector made $1.5 trillion in new loans last year as the key element of the government's financial stimulus program, while that allowed the country's GDP to grow by 8.7% in 2009. The unprecedented credit expansion has raised concerns about how many of those loans could turn bad in coming years. Sea ice off China's east coast, the worst in 40 years, will continue to expand in the next few days. That's according to China's State Oceanic Administration, which says about half of the Bohai Sea is frozen so far. The ice has affected more than 95,000 people in Shantung province, more than 540 square miles of offshore aquatic farms, and 500 docked fishing boats have been damaged already. In Liaoning province, residents on Chuhua Island are struggling with water shortages as a layer of sea ice measuring up to 10 inches thick continues to expand around the island. Ferry traffic to and from the island, which has a population 3,200, was suspended on December 31st because of the ice. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.